Well, hello boys and girls and transvestites. This is my video of my 11th grade. If you don't know what's going on, I talked about my middle school years and my high school years, 9th grade and 10th grade, but now I'm on 11th grade. Now this video, 11th grade, this is where things get a little interesting because I kind of figure out who exactly I am, I'm, who I'm starting to be. And this person I'm becoming is this wacky, strange individual that you now see on YouTube. Make me 535. Now these wacky, weird, strange things I did in 11th grade, I'll go over them shortly because <laughs> I well, was just a little different than everybody else. Now this year, I kind of knew a little bit of everyone in each individual clique, you know, like jocks, the more preppy people, uh, old school punk people, uh, you know, shy people, like all those stereotypical kind of things. And actually this year, I went to three different dances, you know, one was homecoming, and then there was winter formal, which was different for me, and then my first prom year. So I went to three different dances, and each one I went to, I had three different girls, whom I did nothing with. But hey, at least I had the balls to ask him to go to the dance. Even though nothing happened, not even a fucking kiss, let alone my balls licked. I'm just kidding, but seriously. I did manage to date one girl in 11th grade. You know how long that lasted? Two weeks. And for once, this girl was the first girl and the only girl I ever dated within the school I went to. I was just somehow never able to get a girl within the school. They were always like outside of the school. I, it just was a curse. Anyways, this was the first time ever getting a girlfriend in the school and it was fun and it was awesome for two, two weeks. She was pretty damn cute and she was a cheerleader and she was pretty damn preppy. Hey, I finally dated a preppy girl and she was a fucking cheerleader. It was pretty cool. But mm, she was a little bit skankalicious and she liked other boys and she like held their hands and I heard about this information and she wanted to probably ride this other guy's dick who she kept on talking about but she's like, oh no, I don't want to do anything with him. But the truth is she did and she really wanted to. So I cut it off. Yes, I had the balls big enough to dump a hot cheerleader high school chick who was skinny and sexy. Maybe I should have kept the relationship going. I mean, we were a boyfriend and girlfriend, but my heart wasn't set on her, and I don't think hers was on mine. I mean, we made out a good bit, but eventually, it could have been a little bit more than making out, if you know what I mean. Actually, she ended up pregnant like a year later, I think by the guy she liked. That could have been me! Oh my God, I could have been a fucking dad! What the fuck? Aside from her, there were two other girls I like. One I had a huge crush on. The second one, you know, there was a little bit of a crush there too. It's not like these girls didn't know I liked them, because these bitches knew I liked them, and they just wanted to play games with me. Actually, the one kind of, you know, told me, hey, let's just be friends, the big crush I had, but I still wanted to try because I had a big fucking crush on you, and that bitch let me down. I just, I failed. I failed miserably. I even took her out on a date to a movie, and I paid for everything. I paid for the snacks, and still nothing. Let's just be friends. Man, I really suck. I guess I just wasn't her Mr. Handsome. But this other bitch, she's one of those bitches that leads you on, you know. She tells you these things that pretty much that she likes you. And she looks at you and like, okay, you know, we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. And then suddenly, nope, oh, sorry, I don't want to be your boyfriend because I'm just a fucking stupid whore. Fucking girls and their mind games. Also, what I started doing in 11th grade was I actually went to school events, you know, school games, football games, basketball games. I actually kind of socialize with people, at least a little bit. And that's the things you got to do if you want to meet people. You have to go to these games or just go to your after school events. Uh, even if you hate them, but if you want to meet people, I mean, that's the best thing to do instead of sitting in class fucking jerking off and talking to your neighbor, because that's not going to happen. Okay, so this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done in school. I was a school bathroom attendant, a bathroom butler, in the school bathrooms Wednesday mornings. Now just wrap your mind around that for a second. Think about it. What was going through my mind? I have no fucking idea. This, this was all my idea. I literally went to the bathrooms in the mornings, I sat down some music, uh, Elton John, Frank Sinatra, some really classy music, and it echoed through the bathrooms. I had set cologne out for people, you know, to spray them with cologne when they go to the bathroom. And then I would dry off their hands. I had a towel and I dried off their fucking hands after they washed their fucking hands. What was wrong with me? I, I, I think I wanted attention. I think I wanted to be like the only, oh yeah, I wanted to be the only bathroom butler ever to be in my school. I'm just guessing, but I'm probably the first and last to ever do that in my school. Probably the last for, no, probably no one's ever done that in fucking public school. No one does that. Who does that? I do. I do. I even dressed up nicely and I slicked my hair back. I like, I went all out pretty much and it got attention, that's for sure. I think my plan worked and I think everybody in that school knew who I was by the end of the day. You know, word spread around so fast like there's a fucking guy drying my hands in the bathroom playing some nice classy music as I'm taking a fucking shit in the piss over there! The first day I did this I got busted by the vice principal because you know by 10-15 minutes people are talking about it like rapid fire. You know, he comes in, looks at me like what the hell's wrong with him? You know, just told me like get the hell out of there pretty much. But then I told him, 
cannot schedule a meeting with the actual principal without becoming a bathroom attendant. And I literally did that. I had a set time to meet with the fucking principal talking about becoming a bathroom attendant. This is no joke, people. I actually went to the principal's office, sat down in a chair, looked her square in the eye and just told her, I want to become a school bathroom attendant, only on Wednesdays, for no fucking reason. And she asked me, you know, why, why do you want to do such a thing? It doesn't even make sense. And I told her, you know, I have no real reason. I, I just want to do something different, something that's never been done, and you know, something would be fun for the school. And the whole funny part about this is, she laughed, and she thought it was a good fucking idea. You know, not necessarily like, oh, that's a brilliant idea, but it's like, hey, yeah, you know, I see where you're coming from. It looks fun, it sounds fun. Why well, say no? And she let me do it. I didn't get told no to do something really strange in the school. I was able to become a bathroom attendant every Wednesday morning. I only did it one day out of the week on Wednesday, not because I was lazy or anything, but I wanted to talk to my friends, you know, in the mornings. I don't want to be stuck in the fucking bathroom every day. So yes, I was a school bathroom butler every Wednesday morning. And hey, you know what? I actually made tip. I made enough tip to cover my lunch for the day. So I had like a free lunch every Wednesday. I win! It was actually really funny. You know, people came in, they died laughing. Some of them fell on the floor from laughing so hard. You know, people actually played along, you know, let me dry their hands, let them spray them with cologne. You know, they enjoyed the music. It was really, it was something different. It was something really weird. I was weird. And that's the thing. I loved making people laugh. I got some kind of satisfaction out of it. Like, you know, everybody likes making people laugh, but you know, I just really like doing it. You know, I took some risk by doing some really strange things. Another thing I did was kind of like a puking prank. I took water in my mouth, even though water doesn't look like vomit, but run up to a door, you know, make sure a teacher's not looking and I'll go, and splatter all over the door and all the kids would turn around and be like, oh no, and I would run away. And as I would run away or hear the kids laugh, and you know, and that's what that's what it brought a smile to my face because you know I brought enjoyment to a boring classroom, even though it might have been fun. But you know, people are doing classwork, and then suddenly some kids puking and going "Oh no!" and running away. They know it's a joke, and it's funny. I think. And I would do this at different times. Usually when the hallways are empty, when I'm going to the bathroom, I would do the trick. I would walk past some girl and go, bleh, 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 and the girl would back up real fast and be like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" And then I'd be like, "Ha ha! Got you, bitch!" I'm so special. I also made a rap CD and I composed all the music all on the keyboard. I actually went to the studio and paid like $200 to make this joke of a CD. It was 10 songs. Yep, I was called Slick Sanders. This was also the year I took a writing class and I decided I wanted to be a director. I wrote this gruesome scary story and you know, I could have sworn like one day I'm gonna direct this. This story one day is gonna be a gruesome, horrifying film and I'm gonna direct it. But you know what? I look at it and it's a piece of shit. I guess it was the first thing I made and I was like, oh, it's going to be awesome. No, it's not going to be awesome. And to all my weirdness, the later in half the year, I started to grow my hair out. No more short hair. I had short hair for like five years. You now I was like, I want to grow it out again. And it's been grown out ever since. And it just matches my personality a lot better than I think than short hair does. Although now I kind of want to change it again, something a little bit shorter and styled. But I'm kind of scared to because you guys are going to probably flame me and be like, what are you doing, Damien? What are you doing? So yeah, I'm sure I did a lot more strange things. Like one also was a uh, tissue tag. I would fold up a tissue paper and I would put it on someone's shoulder. Uh, I think it was mostly this one kid named Sean. I put it on his shoulder and then, you know, he wouldn't notice until he looks back and like, what the fuck? And, you know, tissue. And then it's his turn to do it to me and I wouldn't see it until I'd like turn and be like, oh, you got me. It, it sounds really stupid, but it, it was funny, I swear. All right, I think it's time to look into the yearbook. And here is the yearbook, probably the simplest one, but I kind of like it. I like the color at least. It's a little paw print. Memories never fade. Now what you notice in this yearbook compared to my other ones, this one's completely filled up. You know, all this is here, we got all this here, you know, flip it to the back. The back is all filled up right here and flip it to the very back and all that's filled up. And that's how I roll, bitch. And here is my 11th grade picture. And for once, I like it. This is probably my favorite picture of all the yearbook pictures. I'm not looking constipated. I'm not looking like I'm high or too cool. And I'm out of my pimply awkward phase. As you can see I'm just a lot more confident in myself. And you can just see that in the picture. I still had a lot of growing up and shit to do like that. But, I mean, other than that, this, this is a pretty good picture. And this is right before I started growing my hair out. And you know, I, I kind of like my hair short in this picture. Uh, what do you guys think? Yo, you are the best rapper. So continue and remember me when you are famous. Damn, I guess I should have been a rapper. Thanks for taking guitar class. You've come a long way since your first term. You're a funny guy. Just no more spitting on the door, okay? Whoops, I guess my guitar teacher somehow figured out my puke prank. Dearest Damien, I enjoyed riding the bus with you. You are definitely a unique guy. See, I told you guys I was really weird. Remember the fun times playing poker together? Jesus Christ. Yep, for some reason I wrote that. 
Damon, you are one of the funniest people I know. See guys, I did make people laugh. I told ya! Even if I was crazy. And again, this person's talking about funny times like me being the bathroom attendant and throwing up. Oh god, how I'm remembered in high school. Damien, this school year has been awesome! Just remember, next year, you have to think of something to top the bathroom attendant and your gangstar rap. Well, nothing was going to top those things, that's for sure. Damien, number one, never pursue your rap career. Number two, lay off the man love. Number three, get some on prom night. Number four, have a great summer. Well, Will, I'm not sure who you are right now, but thank God you're the one that told me not to make a rap career, because everyone else, they said to keep on doing it. They said, keep on rapping, Damien. Thank God I didn't. You made a great bathroom attendant. I hope you pursue this as a career. Well, thank God I did not take your fucking advice. That would be horrible. You suck, man. You can forget about your fucking presence this year. Santa Claus. Once again, I write to myself, this time as Santa Claus. Damon, I must say you're one of the funniest people I know. See, I told you I did make people laugh, even though I looked really insane. Damon, you funny some bitch. You are one crazy fucker. Thanks for being the bathroom attendant. Thanks to you, I got the shit in peace. See, I fucking helped people, guys. I helped people. And here was a missed opportunity. Damon, even though you don't know me, I've always thought you were really cute and funny. Guys, this chick was really hot, and I didn't do anything after reading this. She said I was really cute and funny. Two signals which I could have definitely gotten a number from her, but I didn't because, because I'm a stupid pussy! Damien, I like your crazy blue eyes. They go well with your serial killer gloves. I actually used to wear these crazy blue contacts, and then I used to wear these leather gloves in school. I don't know why. Actually, I think I had a mild obsession with the movie American Psycho, and wearing those gloves just made me feel like a badass for some reason. Damien, word. Your bathroom attendant skills were unbelievable! Damien, let me rub my naked body all over yours. Oh, lunch pail. That's gross. Slick, you are by far the funniest student I've ever had. Woohoo! I even made teachers laugh! Damien, you got to be the sexiest guy I've ever known. You my bitch. Thanks, Connor. I'm rereading this and smiling right back at you. Okay, so that was my 11th grade year, or at least most of the things I remember, because I'm sure there's a lot I'm forgetting, but fuck it. Anyway, stay tuned for my last yearbook adventure video, my 12th grade senior year. Hasta la vista! Fuck. <laughs>